Hello, our lovely kids and pups. Welcome back to the channel. Or just welcome. Um, disclaimer: We're going to be discussing a rather sensitive topic. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so recently, it has come to my attention that my cousin has been having struggles with a friend of hers. Um, this is Disco, or Cheesy, or Potato, or Cheesy Potato. <laughs> she, she's my cousin. Hi. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> and dying. Uh, That's everything at known. the same time. Mm -hmm. Dying at the same time. Wow. <laughs> So, recently, Disco has told me that a few of her friends are suicidal, they're depressed, and they're saying bad things. Mm hmm I think that behaving to a friend, that way to a friend, is wrong. You shouldn't text a friend saying, I hate myself, no one likes me, and I want to die. It's not mm -hmm. okay. If you do that, then you're trying to drag others down into your pit of despair. If you're hurting mentally, then you should let yourself fall and just expect someone to catch you. Don't text your friend, I hate myself. Instead, go look in a mirror and compliment yourself. Example, Oh, fairy, I really like your eyes. Or, anonymous, I really like your smile. Cousin, would you like to step up for a minute? Um, sure. Hold <laughs> on, oh, let me get in my last bite. You can set your example of that. Um, so... Oh my god. I think that... Um, kids also use the example, like, I look really good in this outfit today. Mm -hmm. Or something positive, because it's not nice to bring people into things that's happening in your life. I think that that's wrong, and I keep getting dragged into things I should not be dragged into, and I don't really like it and appreciate it, but it's also hard at the same time to tell my friends um, that I don't like them trying to drag me into it. Because then they might take it offensively or the wrong way. And I don't want them to take it that way. I want them, sorry, um, to just be happy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, cousin. And don't text, no one likes me. Because, honest to God, I'm dang sure you've been told... I love I, I love you as a friend and I'm here for you, dang it. You are very very loved, but you're letting yourself be blinded by the cold darkness. It's hurting you mentally and sometimes it leads to physical. Now I'm going mm -hmm. to let Disco speak her mind. If you're okay, wait. Uh, Disco, you can speak real quick, and then once you're done, uh, I'm going to say something at the end. Um, I, I struggle with not being able to tell people stuff that I don't like, and it's just, like, a struggle for me to tell people that it's it's hard and i don't want to be rude about it i want them to be able to come to me when they need someone to talk talk oh my <gasps> it's okay talk it's to... been happening recently what i said it's okay it's been happening recently everyone's misspeaking so frustrating yeah. but anyways i think that People should respect other people and not just say that 
oh, I'm going to go kill myself or, or um, something like that. That's not okay. And people need to stop. That's not going to get anybody anywhere. But probably pulling friends into it that shouldn't be pulled into it. It's not something that you should just drag your friends into because that's not nice, that's not kind, and that's not respectful. They People need to stop dragging their friends into that, and I don't really appreciate that my friends keep, sorry, dragging me into things because it's frustrating and hard, and I have my own problems right now, and I don't need other people's problems also. Go ahead, Kevin. And if you are hurting at a young age, mentally or physically or emotionally, you should talk to your parents and ask them for a therapist. A friend can't magically make the pain go away. Mm-hmm. You should not bring close people in your life into your pit of darkness and coldness. Mm-hmm. Your pop, but blob. Your problems. Your problems that you need to deal with and take care of. You shouldn't drag other people into it. You shouldn't post stuff on Snapchat or TikTok saying, "Uh, you all are the best," but and I'm the worst. You shouldn't say stuff like that. It's it's helpful to your friends. Mm-hmm. As you see it, if you need help, then you need to get yourself that help. And you're not going to get that help from ranting to a friend about how you hate yourself so much. Mm-hmm. It's not okay. You can't do that. Because then it will make that close friend of yours not want to be a friend or hang around for a bit. Exactly. It will make them more distant to you and it will probably make your depression worse. You should be happy with what you have. You should take care of your prop. I did it again. You should take care of your problems in a more humane way. Uh Uh-huh. Because it is not healthy to just go with it and say stuff to your friends and online people like, oh, I hate myself, I'm going to do this. It's it's wrong. You're hurting yourself mentally worse, and you're hurting other people with it. That doesn't help. Mm -hmm. I am not a therapist, and neither is my cousin. We're not trained for therapy or psychologist stuff, but this is an important topic that if you have a close friend and you're hurting mentally, you should not t- you should not text them saying, "I hate myself and no one likes me because if that's a close friend of yours, they like you as a friend. You shouldn't say no one likes you, and you exactly. should, and you shouldn't tell them you hate yourself because what's the point? They can't magically make your hate go away. Mm-hmm. If you tell them you hate yourself, then you're just looking for their comfort and compliments to get you in a better mood. That's draining them, though. The world doesn't revolve around you, and you need to respect other people's boundaries. Mm-hmm. Can I say something? Yep. Go ahead. Um, your friends might might not be able to do everything for you, but they might be able to help. But you could come at them in a nicer way. And not just, oh my god, and not just like, um, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna go do this to myself and all that, like, I'm not worth it, it's not, it's not gonna, sorry, it's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna make your friends feel like 
you they can't do anything and it's gonna maybe, put them in a state of mind and maybe to some people it will make them think i'm not a good enough friend because they could be exactly. hurting mentally too mm -hmm. and you don't understand what anybody else is going through so don't put your problems on other people if um don't put your problems on people because you don't know if they're going through their own struggles you can talk to them and be like hey you might have your own struggles but i just need to talk to someone and get this off my mind like you can do that but i have a friend and i'm not going to say who i'm going to keep it anonymous but i have a friend and she always says that she's going to do it and it's frustrating because every time she says she's gonna do it she doesn't do it and i know that sounds so bad and i'm not trying to make it sound bad but if they really and this is going to sound extremely bad but if they wanted to do it already they would have done it mm -hmm. and they don't want to do it because they know there are people out there that are going to be hurt if they do it. But they still say, oh, guys, I'm going to do it. But they don't. It's it's aggravating to know that your friend just said stuff and it's not okay. Mm-hmm. And I, fresh oh. I also went through the same kind of thing. I I had an old friend and he always said he'd do it. and. When I get back online, he's still there. He's fine. Mm -hmm. And they don't have the right to do that. Because you're, you're trying so hard to help them. And they're just not taking it. Yeah. You can't drain your friend like that. If you're hurting mentally, that's draining your friend. Because... They're trying to help you. They're giving you emotional support. They're comforting you. They're complimenting you. And they're trying to help you through your depression, but you're not letting them help. And you're draining their enthusiasm. Mm hmm Is there anything else you'd like to add, cousin? I just like to say, I don't want people to generate to that kind of behavior in the future. We need to learn how to deal with our own problems, especially before we start helping others with their problems. Mm -hmm. If you're hurting mentally, ask your parents. If you're at a young age, then ask your parents for a therapist or psychologist. You can maybe talk to your parents if you trust them enough for that. Mm -hmm. But you should not be texting a friend like, hey, I'm going to kill myself. It's not okay. Exactly. Because that hurts your friend. And it's not helping your depression. Mm -hmm. Me and my cousin wanted to make this quick recording to discuss this and talk about this. Because... It's really just wrong. If exactly if you have a friend who's doing this to you, then you need to at least speak to them about it. Tell them it's not okay. Tell them they should at least try to get therapy. Exactly. And you don't have to be rude about it. You can just tell them, like, hey, this happened. You're acting a way I don't like. If your friend is acting like that to you, it's toxic. Exactly. And as a friend, you shouldn't be toxic to your friend, and your friend shouldn't be toxic to you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, we just wanted to discuss this because this behavior... It aggravates me to know that my cousin is going through this, and then I went through it a while ago. Mm-hmm.
I don't really know what else I can say here. Me either. Okay. So anyone who watches this video, thank you for listening and just being here. Uh, I know most of my videos don't get many views, but I hope at least we get a couple views on this because this is important and this behavior shouldn't be tolerated at all. Uh -huh. Alright, um, do you want to do the outro this time? Sure. Okay. Um, thank you so much, guys, for listening in on our videos. We're not big-time people, but we appreciate it so much when people actually listen, because then we feel like we're doing something for someone. And we're not just doing it because we feel like it. I mean, that's part of it. But, um, but yeah, please like. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, but please like and subscribe. And if you have any nicknames for me, please let us know down in the comments. Um, uh, we hope you guys have a good rest of your day day night or evening bye guys bye oh and remember to share this with a friend okay mm -hmm. bye bye